Lagos, the Nigerian Identity Management Commission, NIMC, has come under criticism for using private data collection companies to enroll and collect the data of Nigerians. The chairperson of the House of Representatives Committee on Diaspora, Honorable Committee on Diaspora, Honorable Tolo Lope Sadiq, during a session with senior officials of the Commission, described the act as a national security risk. The lawmaker urged the Commission, among others, to clear the air over certain steps it has taken in the last one year. Based on these fees and the number of people who have enrolled, there has been some collections of money. What has happened to that money? Who does that money belong to? One. Two. How, what does the act of NIMSI empower you to use private companies to register Nigerians? Three, has any of your employees ever gone abroad to monitor what is going on in these private companies? Four, Nigerian embassies all over the world already have desks that work with Nigerians in diaspora. One of them is immigration. Why have you not partnered with immigration to provide this service of the data capture for NIMSI? But instead, NIMSI has exposed Nigerian citizens abroad to private companies to capture very, very sensitive information. It is a national security issue. In terms of uh, diaspora, uh, uh, when it was announced that for every, we are, we are having new passports, and that for every passport, that uh, the name must be embossed on the passport. Even all the previous passports too have a field that is called personal identification number. That is for us here we call me. It's supposed to have been there, but it has never been implemented. So following the announcement, and we we then because we don't have even facilities to cover the nation, so we license private sector people to people that have been allowed to capture data in those countries. Like in the US, the person must have a, a FBI certi certificate that allows the person to capture uh, biometrics. We went to Ministry of Finance, and through them, we were able to contact World Bank, AFD, which is a French development agency, and also the EU. So uh, the three of them have agreed to work together and assist us in capturing data. So we are in, still in this process for the past four years. We, we have done all the integrities. We came up with the strategic roadmap, and it has been approved last year, September, by the Federal Executive Council. And we are now preparing the project, and we are at the stage of negotiating. 